A very good evening to you tuned in to UBC TV. Thank you so much for keeping it with us and welcome to this other edition of UBC One on One with Michael Jordan Lukomwa. We discussed various topics, getting information from various uh, figures that are authority on different things. But as well, we profile people, those that really appear to be significant and inspiring in our communities and in our country. We get to know who they are, and the target is to inspire others. Join me this evening to welcome another big person in this country. He is the chairman of Iganga District. His name is Mr. Gabula Ezra, and we're going to get to know how he joined politics, what inspired him. Then we'll look at his work as a politician, family, and then having been in local government for a quite some time he will tell us how things are in that kind of sector and how he is fitting in there thank you so much for joining join me welcome my guest mr chairman you're most welcome to this show okay sir we have been looking for you and here we are in iganga you are most to have welcome. a chat with you on you ubc are most TV. Welcome. yes uh before i can uh, welcome you father uh we are in an era of uh, uncertain level COVID-19 yes, fighter, eh? allow me to remove this mask a bit eh? so that I can eh, be audible. You are most welcome. This is Iganga district, yes. local government. Mm. And here we are seated in the compound of the, district, of the district headquarter. Okay. Who is Gabula Ezra? So uh, I'm Gabula Ezra, a born of Nambale village in Nambale parish, Nambale sub county. I was born in uh, uh, 26 uh, December 1976 uh, by the two parents, the father, Mr. Kubuile Gideon, and he, he passed away. Then Madame Christine Tikabula Kubuile, who also passed away, oh, also and whom I want to thank although they are not living, for having educated me. I went to school. I did primary from uh, Buenges D.A. I did senior secondary from uh, Kalido High School, uh, senior one uh, to senior four. And I comprehended by 1990. Uh, then after which I joined politics. Right away. Uh, 19, uh, that is 91. Uh, I joined the politics by starting with the ROC1. That's when you started? Uh, that's when I started. Which village was that? Village, number, number village, my home place. Mm. So, uh, did you win? I, I, I won because uh, it was replacing ROC1. First of all, I had to, to, to replace, there was a vacuum. So I was made a secretary for uh, youth, ROC1. Then from there, uh, when the general election came, I, I, I had to contest for councillorship at sub-county. And I also uh, went through and I became the secretary for information, uh, still and youth. Uh, then from there... That is at the sub-county? That is at the sub-county. Time came when a general election came for uh, district councillorship. I contested with one of the uh, councillors who was a secretary for youth at the district. He was he is still there, Honorable Mugabe Kene, whom I replaced in Iganga District Local Council. That was a time when even Mr. George Patrick Vagaya is now, he passed away. Uh, became a, a chairperson for the under district. mature suffrage. Mm. That's when they were, uh, you know, they had removed the other kind of lining behind the, the you know, those the district councillors, chairpersons. So it was all people inclusive. So I co contested along that line in the whole sub-county. Then I was, you know, elected by number voters uh, to come and replace them in the Iganga District Local Council. Okay. So where I served for that term, 
Then I contested for another term, which I also, you know, succeeded. And I, 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 I had two terms at the, at, the, at, the, at the beginning of my, you know, being a district council in Niganga local council. Why do I say beginning? Because I wanted the third one, which I was never, you know, erected. And they erected somebody else. And then I ought to come back in the third one. I got the third one after the other one being served by Honorable Ndada Godfrey, uh, who is now at, you know, Msonga University, which we are requesting and we want all of Soga to argue the president. And I want to thank also uh, the president has committed himself to take it over. So that's where he is. So um, when I came back the third time, uh, I was a, a, a secretary for for works in the district executive. in the district executive. Okay. Then uh, I was made a vice chairperson, Iganga District Local Council. So within those three, uh, the new as of office, I served under the following people. One was I said about the late George Patrick Bagaya. Then uh, the second one was Mr. Chaff, who is now a commissioner under Land Commission. Then the third one, uh, that is under Mr. Ankutu Shaban, uh, the son to the late second deputy prime minister, Aluhaj Chirunda Chifaidinda, who passed away. So I, 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 I worked under three consecutive uh, Chairman. Uh, chairperson is. Okay. Whom I want to thank for mentoring me and I, 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 I admire their leadership. So 2021 you so came? 20, no, before 2021 I contested for parliamentary okay. with the Honorable Buino Chakula and I emerged uh, under the flag uh, bearership of NRM to be the second and uh, I, I wanted to contest in the, the, the the National you know, Electoral Commission, uh, which I did, and I was also the second. So now this time around, the people said, no, but you have seen reality in the local government. And you did a lot during that time when you were a district councillor. They remembered the schools that I, I, I got uh, government involved in taking over as being grant aided because they are seven. That never existed. And uh, when I reduced on such uh, longer distances, they said no, but you were senior. Even though some swamps, uh, some roads that you had worked on as government, but with my people initiative as a person, they said no. Why don't you go for this? Especially people of Chiguru North. They said no, we are floating you. Basically, you can work there. So I made the consult consultation uh, with different people. Uh, doing the research over that position, whereby uh, everybody was almost saying so. So that made me hope and to go and pick for, I mean, the nomination form. How easy or difficult was it for you to look for the votes in the whole Iganga district? Yeah, I I, I will not say it was not easy. Uh, because previously you were a councillor yes. for just one sub-county. I will not say that it was uh, not easy or easy. But uh, I want to say that, uh, you see, being known by everybody, you know, whenever you pass, people just say, Gabula, 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 because I'm a down to ask person. And as I said, I worked under those chair personship. And by the way, even if the other times that I was not in, you know, leadership, I've been uh, a panelist on radios. I've been disseminating information related to, uh, propagating information related to any area. So your name is what so was not my new. name is known, Gabula, 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 you know, uh, either a child uh, or somebody, you know, who is an adult, knows Gabula. You were not a new man uh, in I was the ears not a of the new people. man, and the people would hear me even in those councils, even when I was not in those councils during radio uh, talk, shows. talk shows. So, uh, in the Soga, they say, Obumane, Busingachi, Obuzira. What inspires you as a politician? Uh, as a politician... From the time uh, you joined? From the time I joined, mm. 
one I will say that uh, you see when you read about the endowment of man, first of all, there is that book about the endowment of man. I don't recall who uh, pursued it, eh? but I will tell you that uh, one of the satisfiers of man among us, the eight, there is politics. Okay. And they say that a person who does not lead in this world would have been a miscarriage. So that is a sentiment. And then secondly, I learned about, uh, there is also a book in relation to NRM. Uh, when I went for cadership in 1990, I did some cadership. But uh, I recall when I was uh, a minister, a secretary, I happened to have gone to Nali. National Leadership Institute in Chiangkwans. Mm. But when you go to Chiangkwans, they tell you to time nature and harness it into a living. Okay. So uh, when I say I'm a down to ask person, I'm also a source of attraction. Because whenever I go, people gather. By gathering, they want a word from me. And whenever I throw a word, those people remain there. You know, other people discuss given the sentiments that I produce. Mm. Now, given the Nali, the National Leadership Institute, then given uh, the endowment of man, timing nature and harnessing it into a living. Mm. You then, combined the, all uh, that? Mind all about that. And they say that whoever is on us has to share the actors well. Now, about the endowment of man, from life, from religion, from education, that money has to make money in a, a conducive environment. Then above all, there is what they call development. Developing yourself and developing uh, at a global level. So uh, those are, you know, what we are supposed to do. Then marriage, then given uh, the task of somebody to have power or to belong to, uh, to, to, to politics, or to get affiliated to politics. Then, uh, you know, marriage, eh? Go on your through what you are given. Then uh, finally, come taking us through this before you die, that you must have something you do for everybody. So, so now, all that combined? The, the, all that combined, together with equitable utilization of assets, eh? Which is also, uh, 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 you know, an endowment that you are supposed to, to, to also to share the actors well in this world before you die. So me, I looked at that, then I said, what can give me service above self so that I can render service, you know, in a way of allocating resources. So combining all that, and by virtue of my name, Gabriel, let me tell you, uh, my uncles come from Kamuli. And that's where now we have the Chabazinga, the, the name of Gabula. Me, I developed some ambitions along with that. But I also admire the, these people, the Basoga. Like one when I was at Wenges DA across there, there is a heresy unit uh, for uh, the late children that you in there. The who passed away my museum there. But I would see him when he comes with a lot of people and what the way he addresses. Then uh, uh, I used to have some uh, news, you know, on radio to hear about the Royalty Honorable Kadaga, hearing about uh, Dr. Kaziwe. Uh, and, you know, the sentiments they used to produce, the way they would talk to the people, the way they would gather people. Then even my political party that I admire most, which one I'm holding this stick in RM. <laughs> I said, can I serve it? Okay. So it is above self. And they gave you the opportunity uh, to serve I, it. It is above self that, along that line. How would you describe politics for the time you have been in different yeah. offices politics at different enjoyable. levels, especially for a person like you are? Politics is enjoyable and the one people don't want liars. People want proper transparency and accountability. That is what somebody wants, what you can do for him or her, and what you cannot do. And 
there is a, a, a statement that it is administrative. One good thing of an administrator or a politician is to promise so much. But if you promise and you don't fulfill, people get off chest from you. And I, I, I learned and I've quoted that one, I've inserted that one in my, you know, politics. That is that, now the ideal. That is now the Practically. ideal. Practically. Practically. Do you see that? Do you practice that yourself? Very good, very good. As you can see this environment here, by the way, among the councillors who promise and never wanted to be, you know, unwilling the full, full data, but who would feel free? It is me. I always look for any alternative. And what I've known out of the people, it is better to tell them the actual thing that you can offer. What you cannot offer, you don't go in for it. But even there are weather factors, unimpending, you know, uh, spare things that can change the environment. If things are changed, are you able to go back and, you know, make a transparency and say, we had wanted this one, but now it is not possible because of this. Like, uh, let me tell you, I promise to be with the people all the time. Like, I have almost 42 parishes here in Iganga. But I've not moved. Why? Because of COVID-19. You know, as an excuse? As an, not an excuse, <laughs> but it is an obligation we have all to of comply to. The first time many of us got to know you, mm. our reporter sent a story where you were fighting with people in the oh, council hall yeah. when you were still a councillor. Mm. What had happened and what kind of image do you think that portrayed about you? Yeah, no, okay, that one. Uh, one, they say never get annoyed beyond annoyance. But there is a, at times when you are not supposed to be, you to put on a decent face for every bottle all the time. Because uh, you see, within the liberations, Mulusoga, uh, Wagamanti, or Wali, or Mosso, or Wali, or Muriro, Tawabala, or Wali, or Muka, Tawabala, Muriro, Tawabala, so where there is fire, there is smoke. First what had all, happened? So now, what had happened? You see, resources are too minimal. You wanted to take this, then the other people are saying no. But what had happened, that was a matter of, uh, you know, whereby investors had been brought to take over the swamps. And me, I'm against, you know, I will always be in for our people. And even that is a matter which is now on, which never made any aim to Pro, to, to proper, to, to, pro, pro, to prepare well in Ibusoga. When the president never came up to pronounce himself over the wetlands. You see the wetlands, it is not good to, 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 to encroach on them. But what makes our people to encroach on the, the wetlands? So that's what they are. You know, yes, people have encroached on the, the wetlands. Mm. And it is not only people, even the government. You can go to Nama Amwe. That was a, a wetland of international importance. But now industries, you know, the design of the industries are supposed to be in such areas. And that's where there are no people. Are you getting me? Yes. So now you, 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 you discard that, uh, uh, you know, abusing government for putting up industries. Because where are they supposed to be put? Are they, uh, can they be near people? So me, I was advising people, I mean my councillors, you know, for them, they were saying, ah, ah, for us, we want money from these people. Then I had now to go wild. In the interest of my people, to pronounce myself, to say this is my position, I don't want people to be chased. But why? Population pressure. Did you, you succeed? succeed? I succeeded. Because I succeeded, and uh, I would say either way, because that project is still on, we went back on the drawing board, because those people ran away. And later on, they became my friends after unraveling what I wanted, that I was in for the people. And even the people never wanted them there. So we, were, we said afterwards, we want to go in for irrigation. So we bloody the, discussed that program. And I hear, even in, you know, there is a the today in Bujiri and what? We, I want to advise the government to listen to the people. Because it is the people that make up the government.
The reason we saw you throwing papers was because and you I wanted to I protect always be wetlands. For the people. You seem to protect people even when they are doing wrong no, they to are save not your votes. No, there is a law whereby people are not supposed to be deprived of their properties. Because now here, even when they are interfering in a road construction, no, even saying, when they are uh, no, stopping an saying, investment that would employ many. On the other, uh, 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 do you know where the road is, passes? The road has a demarcation. But now, uh, when you are making that road, okay, yes. you will find that the road, the, I mean the equipments that you use, need some negotiation. When you are driving it, you negotiate, okay? You negotiate. As you negotiate, it will go there, okay? Where there is no road. So you are saying now, those people on, the, on either sides, of the road, okay, eh? which is not even a, 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 a road reserve. reserve, but you want now to cut out, you know, because like now the stones cannot be, you know, uh, they cannot dump them in what, but like uh, uh, there is that, you know, press there, you, you are saying that, you know, now you want to power there the materials, mm -hmm. so you are requesting these people to get away, you are requesting. But now, on a special request, there are people who are gazetting it to be aware that when they get away, by the time they finish, we shall also have used, you know, that, that area for another construction. Not about the road, but about, you know, putting up, you know, houses and what. Okay? So that these people, by the time they want to come back, they, are, they, they don't have any space. So that differs from now. These people are doing the what? The road. Mm. There is the other person there looking at the other one as an opportunity. With the way okay. you look at people mm. and fear to hurt them. Mm. Not fearing to. Will you really move protect, the district? I have to protect them. I have to protect Even them. Even when it's from not necessary. Deprivation. I don't want to, them to be deprived. How do you balance mm. investments? and interests of your people, your votes. Very good. I've ever done it. That's How do why, you balance? Uh, to make sure that there are investments properly done very good, very for people good, to get good, jobs very again, very good, very good, very good, and for the good, economic good, development good, of the good, district, good, and again protecting the interest of your good. people, uh, your voters. Now, there is what belongs to somebody. For example, we want to make a road. Mm -hmm. The road has to pass here. Me, I'll make sure that it passes there. But they are gazetted move by other neighbors. Somebody can say, can you divert the road so that it passes there? Instead of passing here, because I want it to pass, I mean to use this. I'll say no. Why? Why? Because now we are going to encroach on the other poor man. We are exploiting the other poor man to the detriment of his ignorance. Because the man cannot have, you know, cannot go anywhere. So now you want to deviate from the original plan where the road is going to pass. So that you encroach on the other one. Who is what? Who is innocent? But because maybe the man is old, maybe he has no relatives. So you take that as an advantage. So you because it has ever happened. Then secondly, I will tell you. Uh, there is something that happened uh, yesterday, but uh, I'd say it is a week. We had, you know, a program of opening a road yes. some 15 years back. And we happened to have made it ourselves. People ganged up and had to open it. It was there before. Now, after opening it, people are using it. Then somebody comes and sells, you know, his plot on the other side, but says you can even take over the other road. So the other one comes and crosses it. So when I was invited by the one I I said, what is your problem? You bought this area well knowing that there is a road that passes here. And you bought the other part. Why now, now to, to, do, to do, you know? This. He said, no, but I bought it. I said, you man, you are going to follow victim of, uh, as a culprit. Okay? 
Me, I worked on him myself without even informing government. I said, you bring the ropes. So the man realized that he was in danger. He had to take off. Okay? Yes. Yeah, and the people said, yes, bravo, this so man. So where? So now, because I've lived for some time, mm. given the experience I've told you, and we have been using that, you know, path, eh? now which was developed into a road. Mm. But it was not crossing in the other one who sold the land to who this one. Who came and claimed it? Yes, I, who sold it to this one. Okay. Now, when the other one sold it, he said, even, you know, that, that road belongs to, to my what? Which is not the case. He deceived the buyer. He deceived the buyer. That he had bought and the road yes, as well, part of the... Very good. The, and the, now the buyer sees the road because what is the primary? By the time he, he bought this land, yeah? The road was not the road part of the was. Land. And it is even that road that took him through. It's a gazetted road. It is a, a gazetted road. So you are just a fair <laughs> man. So I'm just a fair man. And because of being a fair man, that's why I've not got problems. You are a senior in local government administration, like you said, basing on your experience. How would you describe the local government system in Uganda? Having been at the district for a long time as a councillor, even at the sub-county, can it really change the livelihood of Ugandans? If the centralization is fully executed as per its intended goal, because the one we wanted to bring services in Yala to the people. Yes. And uh, that is the int intended motive. So in another way you're asking me that he, has it done something for the people? Mm. I will say, first of all, one, yes. For example, I reused the road sector. Uh, what was there before was that uh, we had graders from Bugembe. So how effective were they being used by all districts in Ibusoga? Because the district administration was there. Uh, now, I want you to compare along with that with the road equipment that the districts have got. So Iganga has. Right now we have learned Bugwell. So if Bugwell is not a newly harmonized district and they have theirs, what would it be? Now ours would be used here and Bugwell would also be using theirs. But now, because Bugwell is a new district, they which still is need not assistance. yet given by government equipment, mm. now they, we, they, we are lending them. Okay? Now, that is a burden that was there before mm. that we would all eye for the equipment from Bugembe. In so, ginger? But, from ginger. Mm. But now, relatively, I'm using that one. We have our machines here. Where is the problem? Why do, you, do we have still bad roads? Somebody will ask. Yes. Now, that is not a problem of the other machineries. Okay? But if the machineries have been given, but the same funding remains. Okay? It was 400 before. It is still 400. 400 what? Million shillings. Okay. Now, that money, uh, wage bill inclusive. What is the wage bill? That is the money for the workers within that sector, both for water and the engineers there. So you remove, you remain with 160, because there's the money for operation, they divide it. So if the centralization can be fully executed, vis-a-vis -vis the funding to come enormously increased, so that these machineries can be more effective at all times. Then because it would really very good. do wonders. It, it will do wonders. Don't you see? So now, the way I'm reasoning, mm. the centralization is good. Because it came with, like, if we want equipment, we have them here. Okay? But what about the funding? Now, on the side of finance, it has not increased its funding. But where is the problem? You see, Uganda is just developing. And I want to appreciate, before any RM came in, was that money there, as it is? I will say no. Okay? So, I want to say, 
Decentralization is good. Of course, the population but was not the, the population was not as high as, as it as is. As high as Definitely, that means the tax the, yes the, the, the tax resource base uh, yes was not that big. No, it wasn't big. But even uh, I, 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 I don't want you to to, to discuss along that line. Why? Because like now, <laughs> uh, I take you uh, to education. <laughs> education was there. Teachers were not getting any pay. The, we had licensed teachers. Yes. But when NRM came, it started on paying teachers, looking for teachers who are qualified. And right now, as we talk, when you talk about government schools, we don't take on teachers who are not, you know, qualified. Okay? And teachers are getting their pay. So you really think now, uh, the decentralization system can really... Can really, really. But there are some funding gaps that needed to be mitigated. Okay. Let me talk about when you look at the national budget, Very good. yourself you have said Uganda is a developing country. Yes. Don't you think the national budget just gives what is appropriate to it on the side of the districts? Uh, uh, Would you get something bigger than 400 million if the national budget was that big? Where is the gap? No, but let me tell you over that. I will not, I not say that the, 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 the national budget is not enough. It is all about financial discipline. To do with who? Uh, let me tell you about resource allocation. Okay. Because let me tell you, for example, I'm not complaining about the MOPs. Mm. But if we say we want an MP to get 50 million shillings, that mitigation can be made. Because it is within themselves to budget and allocate resources. Now the, the district, they say, the council has 20%. That is a law rigidly made there. And I take you to the issue of vehicles. We used to have problems. So are and you saying... Government is spending too much elsewhere too much or not. and very not. Good, very good. I don't want to, to send in Chirumam. That is, it favors other sectors more than the, the, the decentralization. Uh, it is a brain child. Are you, are you getting How can we have that Because sold? like now when they, went, when they said the district chairperson, let them get vehicles. Because now, do you know how it came out? The president said, no buying of those old models. Specifically, he came up with a model, which couldn't have been afforded. The district could not surface, you know, to buy. Because they said, buy it from, you know, your own 20%. Then uh, that would be swallowing councillors' allowance. Now, when they advised the president, he said, minister for local government, look around for some money together with the minister of finance. And it was... You know, did you get a car yourself? No, I, I have a car that I, you know, I was I inherited from, you know, because we have a district car, mm. but how effective is it? It is, you see, there is a <laughs> lifespan for you know, every a vehicle that vehicle came almost when my uh, the other chairman was leaving. Okay, now it has been used for five years, as we talk now, it is squalid, it is dilapidated, <laughs> it is down in Bugembe. Okay? And to put it back requires some more money. Okay. Uh, even the other one of Bujiri you had okay. yesterday, I, I want let to... me comprehend this one. Mm. Even you, the, the other one of Bujiri mm. wanted to kill that chairperson whom I'm serving with. Because the tires just got off. Then he took him on the, you know, the, the trailer. Mm. So, the vehicles they bought, I want to appreciate them. And I want to appreciate the five years. It is not an easy journey. The journey is true, what? Long for, 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 you see, you're sounding exactly like people are angered with the MPs. No, we are not the angered. MPs, the MPs, I appreciate their work. But, but yes, but, but you, I'm you, saying, you, in you a want way. a car just no, like they no, need it. No, no, you're asking I, for a better car just no, like no, the I'm MPs. I'm not asking for a bet, better car. I'm saying if it is five years, let it also apply to the C5. Okay, but to, for, for okay. matters of clarity, mm. you said government is spending too much elsewhere. Very good. Not on the local government. And that is not fair. How much would be enough for a like district? Like a ROC 5 chairman, I get a 2 million. Then the MP get more than a 2 million. Mm. 
but I'm charged with the responsibility of remaining behind here in the district because I don't want to choose the MP of not, you know, being with me here. He's ever there to execute the other obligation. He passes the law, okay? They, are so, they have paralogue of, you know, uh, you know, things that needs to be developed in the parliament, including policies eh? and other laws, okay? Me, I want them to do that for us. Because for us, we do the ordinance. Exactly. But now we do the ordinance. You see, here in Iganga, for example, I have uh, uh, three constituencies. One, Chigulu South. Two, Iganga Municipality. Three, uh, Chigulu North. But I'm supposed to be everywhere. Now, my being... Yet these people, each one goes only to that very good. particular they constituency. Come, they come during the time when they are free. But me, I'm supposed every day to be at work. To activities, to be in the office. Okay, so let, let, go back let us to drive your point home. Very good. Are you saying a chairman LC5 should be paid better than two million? Better than two million. How much do you think is enough? Uh, no, that one day, I'm saying as they, they increase theirs, mm. can they increase that one of the <laughs> No, 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 Mr. Gawla. Yes. Be straight. You are the man at the ground doing the work. No. You have seen several chairmen as a councillor. With in comparison with their work, how much do you think would be enough for their payment, for your payment as a chairman LC5? No, I will answer that one that when you have food to eat, yes. can you give food which resonates? Eh? Which resonates with whomever is there? The reason why I'm saying... You don't you have a right place. to ask for what resonates? No, we don't. Why? We don't, because now the other people, are, 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 they have that obligation. They are only limited by... If you state. don't demand, if you don't express the need, no, the who will answer to your demanding. call? Okay. Uh, but my demand is limited to saying that I want this. But what I'm saying, if an MP gets, uh, I mean, gets to increase, to increase, you know, his allowances, mm. let it be cross-cutting with a percentage. Because they know better why the chairman gets the two million. And How time, does... What me? Mm. By the time he was, you know, given two million, what was it for an MOP? Does the payment of the chairman yes. affect work at the district? Very good. How? How, you know, you go for barrio, you need to assist people who are in problems, like during this time. Who is not asked? Somebody like me, as I did C5, somebody would come to me and say, I want food. In apparently a similar way, would go to an MOP. But we don't have calamities every day. Yeah, yeah calamities are not there every day. Yes. But what about problems? <coughs> Heroes. People get sick every day. That's why even you, you, before you, COVID 19. You are running an administrative unit. Make sure that there are services. Health centers have the drugs, demand for the drugs, that is demand for payment of doctors that is, and ensure that, that their services, you need to be to have a salary to give people treatment uh -huh. yourself. Uh -huh. now, is I it your personal it, I duty? I want you to get my point. Okay. You said, is the decentralization really effective as by the intended motive of government? Me, I'm saying they are funding gaps. And one of the funding gaps I said about the roads. I said, most of the money that comes, like the 400, most of the money is for wage bill, to pay for the workers within that sector. Okay. But now when it is being pronounced, they say, we give them 400. No, it is not true to that extent. They, they don't touch how they it's broken touch down. They don't touch how it is, you know, separated down. Okay. But it has some stringent attachments. So from there, I, I, I told you, like, uh, that uh, when they brought the... The, the, the tractors, mm. they thought the money is there as 400. No, it is not as 400. Okay? You break it down, it would be 160. And now to take you to, to, to reason about that one, mm. what does the central government, when it is making a road like that one, spend on just malam? malam. Okay. You will find that they spend their 300. Now they want you to use the 160 which remains has the money to be used on roads. And they work enormously, like the way they plan for the other, the other roads. They come and say, hey, why are the roads bad? Because now with 160, you'll get only three roads. But we have 
about more than the Sata roads. There is too much corruption mm. at the districts. Do you agree with me? And what no, it explains... Is not, you know, it is not only in districts. We are talking about districts because yeah, I am with a district yes. leader. Yes, but... Uh, what explains see, the too much corruption uh, at the districts? Uh, yeah, that one I will explain. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to expound on it, that corruption is everywhere. Because like now, what are we given as a district? For example, you'll find that I do agree with you that the corruption, I can't say it is not within districts. But the corruption also should be defined. Okay? For example, if I'm given something, does it reach eh, where it's supposed to go? That one is a problem. And if that problem is there, then I become problematic. So I'm not saying me alone, but even you, even the other one that we are talking about, who belongs to the district. And it is my sincere argument that we become too transparent, okay? And more accountable to the people. What causes the corruption uh, in the district? So what it causes, is it the underfunding uh, that you talked about? One, it is underfunding. But again, you steal the little that is sent to you? No, but why is it <laughs> underfunding? Eh? Underfunding goes with, you know, sending money so of late. So what will happen what if we send you too much? Yeah, sending money of late eh, is also corruption. Mm. You see, late funding, there is information always. They are weather faggots. For example, you fund a road. It is supposed to be funded within two, three months. Then you say, we are breaking off. We shall give you after. Now, somebody has opened the road. Now the water has come, the rain, eh? it has spoiled, you know, some of the areas, you know, where this person passed with the grader. Mm. So, is the level the same? There are some depresties, yeah? So you find that somebody now has to go back and so, revisit to reshape. So corruption before, you know, starts with the sending of the money? But it is a cross-cutting. But you, you, you don't want to talk about the corruption here uh, at the level? I, no, I said, mm. no, I said. I wanted you to bring you to what brings problems now. Okay. okay. Now, what about the weather fungus is, uh, 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 you know, the rain, you know, rain the heavy rain. Mm. It has now degraded the road further. Beyond what has to Beyond be done. Beyond what has to be done. But the other one has to power there, the malam. The use of the problem, are we still maintaining the, 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 the status of the level that the other one put it on? If, if not, I, I, I've seen the, the, mm. the local government accounts committee of parliament yes. uh, ordering for arrests of district leaders, mm. technical people, over accountability, over accountability mm. and misallocation of funds. Mm. What causes that at the district? Okay, what causes that? Uh, I, I wanted you to appreciate the other one first. Yes, I have. But over this one, I want to appreciate. But for Iganga, I'm yet to, to study. Because newly harmonized as I am, eh? you see, one of my work is to monitor these government serve, I mm. mean, activities. I monitor, service, I monitor the performance of civil servants vis-a-vis -vis what they transcend okay. as activities. Mm. So that one is there. It has been there, but we wanted to discard it. There have been cases in Iga? Yeah, no, there have been cases. That one I cannot say no, but I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. I've vividly the scene. Because I said I lost for some time when I wanted to go for Dr. Uh, 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 But now I've come back as a chairperson. Mm. And I want you to retaliate. What are you to doing to mitigate? Money. Personally, what are you doing to mitigate I'm cases very, of corruption tough, in your tenure? I'm very tough on civil servants. And once you hear them crying for crying like squirrels, <laughs> okay? Then this will be the man. Because I'm not an easy <laughs> man. Really? When it comes to accountability. Mm. And I'm telling you, Iganga, we want it to be uh, on a new face. And it is my how, argument. To how clean are you yourself? Myself. The way you are saying me. That's why disabled as I am. Mm. By the way, you say this, disabled people sometimes. We'll know, come to that. Uh, mm. you, you, you know, they get annoyed, but we leverage. So I want to leverage. And I want to promise you that Iganga, civil servants, are going to excel to the best. Okay. Those that have been doing so, I want to appreciate. Those who, who don't want to change, 
I want them to change. Like I will tell you of one aspect. Mm. Uh, government sends money under gratuity. Pension is under gratuity. But that money at the end of the day is sent back. By who? Some is it? Cross, that's some the corruption you yes, didn't want to talk about. No, 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 I'm saying it is there. Mm. But how does it come out? I say, when the government sends money of late, when we are remaining with three months, I mean with about three weeks, there are files with the public service under that. Mm. That's why I wanted to expound on it. The, the, the principal human resource has worked on some files. They have been sent to Kampala. Before they are worked on to be brought back, because now what they compute for this person who has retired must be resonating with what the ministry has. Okay. Now, where is the delay? This is what I, I want to, to find out. If it is, the delay is with the public service, then that money can be reclaimed back. But sometimes the delay can be with us here. Eh? I, I'm assuming. Then where is the problem? If somebody is on, off, on, off, on, off, and also gazettes that as his or her home, okay? Okay. Leaves there the virus mm. and goes for other things. Now time goes beyond whereby he or she is supposed to, to what? So we are saying we scale up and give the organizational time more than what somebody's peculiar interest. What are the main challenges of this place, Iganga district? Mm. Yes, you are born of this district, you have been a leader throughout. What are the main challenges of this place? Uh, the challenges here, first of all, I will begin with the administration. Mm. Uh, not the district no, now, no, no, but the whole no, no, area. There is something I wanted you to, to get. Okay. When we look, we look up, uh, or talk about revenue as a district, there are some lakes and rivers within other districts. What was Iganga before? Those, uh, uh, like uh, Mayuge, what is that lake there? Uh, uh, Bond, we, uh, we have learning sites like Bonda, were they within Iganga, but they are not. They, those, they are no longer, they part, are of no longer part of Iganga. So do we? still remain with the basic uh, uh, revenue. Because there is a lot of revenue there. So now Iganga is left barely to improvise over other alternatives that are income generating. So that is the problem. So we cannot be able to get revenue that is sustainable as a district. As a district. Mm. Now, what is it about our people? There is a lot of poverty. Why a lot of poverty? You see, when you talk about uh, one, I'll talk about uh, like uh, we had the Busoga University. But do we have Busoga University? I don't know. We don't. And in this period that we don't have Busoga University, what are we lacking? And especially the COVID and the what? You see, people to move to other distances to go for education is not easy. So that's why we, we agitate for Busoga University. And what will Busoga University bring in Iganga? In terms of fighting poverty? In terms poverty. of fighting poverty. Tell us. One, when uh, the distance is too short, you know, people would not, you know, that a certain percentage will increase on, especially those who want to become elite, to get educated. They will go there. So that is one. Then two, what about the lecturers that will come to Soga University? How many are they? What will they fetch to Iganga? Somebody has got his salary, will pay the rent. Okay? So the hostels that will be put along, you know, that is Soga University. We have no How many people can that there. sustain, oh, Mr. Gabula? Oh, there are many. Because even during the time when it was here. Because I'm looking at the no, whole population yeah, of the district. Yeah, that is okay. We had the people from Kenya and Sudan. Okay? Mm. They do buy menfu, buy what, buy what. You know, you know, rent people's houses and what have you. So economically, that was a university. Was a thing in the district. Was a, yeah. And by the time it will come back, 
because it is, does not, you know, necessitate me to, to put on a, a decent face for government. But I'm helping government since I'm yellow. And if yellow, any of them wants to get votes from here, it is one of the negations is why we lost. Okay, because the president never pronounced himself. But since he has pronounced himself, it had this value. It is of Besides economic. Busoga University, what else are you doing as leaders? We have you yourself, three MPs. What are you doing to ensure that our people get out of poverty? Leaders, we are mobilizing people by sensitizing them to get into economic activities. Me, I normally ask people, I normally ask those that I find out or I come across, and I say, every, today you don't have anything to sell. A week you don't have anything to sell. A month you don't have anything to sell. If you don't have anything to sell for almost a month and other month, what do you have as an income? So can you get engaged into economic activity that really can generate money? Get out of sitting and wishing, which does not make a what? A man. Because look what me as a disabled person. Person with disability. I'm a struggleist. I struggle. I struggle over so many activities. So why are you seated? So the mobilization we are taking on, it is my sincere message. It is my message that I have installed into other leaders, and I want us to move on it with that It is just one. a good then message. Then secondly, mm. uh, what about the infrastructure, uh, infrastructures that can enable this person? We are engaging private partners. I talked about the money for the roads, which is not enough. But we want to supplement on. How do we engage? Like, uh, I will say I want to appreciate there is a TIAC, social cooperative. There is that team that is managing, you know, transaction of sugarcane, selling it to a TIAC. And I want to appreciate the government. Put there some money. But we have engaged the leadership, which I want to appreciate. And they are going to work on our roads. By giving to, us to boost you know, sugar cane, to boost, you know, growing and business. Sugar cane only, mm. but you know, relatively, who uses those roads? Is it the sugar cane, you know, uh, farmer? But there are other crops, there are other products that are being transported. Okay, you know? Mr. Chairman, so that one. We, we are winding up in the interest of time. Good, mm. As a person living with disability, mm. there are so many people living with disabilities who console themselves and sit back. Just like you said, wishing. A struggle is you are. What message do you have for those colleagues? My message is that uh, being dis having a disability is not inability. And they say when you are looking for somebody of high concentration of power, then a disabled comes in. Because we are not equally endowed, but we are given different talents. So my sincere argument, one, is that he, that goes to all the parents, inclusive, global, I will say, not to leave behind a person with disability. CWD, take a person with disability to school or at school, okay? Uh, empower that person with education. Then my argument also goes beyond the parents. It goes to us, people with disability. For example, I'm a person of short stature, short or missing, congenital in nature. But I've been, uh, you know, what I, I never told you, I've worked with the National Agriculture Research Institute. It is a public, public agriculture institute. Uh, I was, you know, manning, uh, uh, I was on management committee uh, dealing with researchers. Yes. And you know researchers, they are caliber their education. Uh, so if I got a chance to, like that one, to, to man them to be one of the managers. It is uh, only because external, you were educated? Because I was educated, mm. I was on the management committee. But chosen because I was able to, to, Deliver. to, to come up with the policies. Mm. And, and they depicted me from here. That okay. is during the other time when I never came up. Mm. So now, relatively, if I become a chairperson, what do you take as a message? 
Short how, have you, how have you helped people with disabilities uh, in this district, for example, uh, one, having their own in the thing, one, like we normally say? The NGOs. Hmm. Uh, like I've, I've, I've been in uh, Idiwa, that is uh, Iganga district, integrated women uh, disabled. It is women disabled, but uh, it has cross-cutting issues that deal with the men. The executive director is Madam Kayanga. So I innovated that one. I've been on board to, to lay policies, uh, to develop some, I mean, circle. And uh, relatively, I've been, you know, giving a message and, uh, you know, ad advancing for, uh, making, making advocacy for PWD. You see those ramps like the other one by, was not there. The ramp there wasn't there. But those ramps, uh, we have advocated for ramps everywhere okay. because they are building so of all the dilapidated model that they don't ac accommodate what is. Yes. So now uh, what I wanted to is I'll that uh, as I wind up, mm. when I talk about uh, better roads, then a, a person with disability needs better roads. We are, uh, I talked about, uh, uh, I, I came up with schools like in number, uh, more than seven, that we are not there. Like uh, one, Yaka, Banada, uh, Toka, and what have you, eh? uh, uh, St. Mulumba, uh, Kamilis D.A. Eh? You see, making an environment friendly for a disabled person who cannot able to move. And as we talk now, I'm the one with three schools, but now they are four in stand. Why three to four? There is Bulondo, Bulanda, Botejike, which I want the government to, uh, to grant aid. But in the whole country, they are 48. But in Istan, Istan here, Istan region, they are 3 to 4. Then why do I want them to, to be granted aided? There is a man who cripples, who does what? How do you expect him uh, to, to move the, a, 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 a longer distance? So we are reducing on the what? Vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, bringing such schools as policies that every village must have what? Then when it talks about when it comes about water, we are advocating for more water sources. We are getting NGOs which are friendly, which can give us water. Why do we want the water? To reduce on the distance for this disability, I mean a person with disability who cannot move an elongated distance. Then finally we developed ordinances here and I was behind developing an ordinance for disabled. You have served at the LC one, two, three, five, and now you are at the top. Are there other plans as we wind up? The plan is to, to make a service above self in a relentless Just that. form. Only at this and level of LC5? I LC5? want to promise everybody that my interest is not to use this one to go for other positions. But how do I intensify on LC5? So that when it comes to transparency and accountability, there is something vividly that can be seen. Okay. And by doing so, I do have helped the government by bridging a gap, a gap between the local government and the government, the, the, the central government. Mm. Then it will, uh, the one which will have got services above itself. Uh, Thank you so much, so Mr. Gawla. I don't intend to, you know, but me, I'm only called by God to serve. And it is all about this, what I do, is what is recalled by the electorate so that they can demand me either to serve for more as C5 or to say that bye-bye. But I want to appreciate the people of Uigam from the bottom of my heart, mm. especially Nambale, that generated me because that's where the orogenesis of my politics okay. you know, emanated from. Mm. They had a people initiative of shaping me, of, you know, empowering me. That's how other sub-counties got, got to know you. To know me. Thank you very much, UBC. You're welcome, Mr. Yeah. Gabula. His name is Gabula Ezra. He's the chairman, LC5 Iganga District. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael Jordan Lukoma with the man himself, Kamukama Davis and the whole team. Wish you the best of the night.